what is going on friends we are back with more world cup we got paul versus gondra pro playing for team europe gondra playing for latin america and the score is i think is it 5 over team europe i think it's 5 over team europe so if paul wins this europe moves on to semi-finals and we got btb in the call and pdc versus menzi started okay we have to focus on the other game because that game is important so it's Menzi playing for Germany, PDC playing for East, rooting for Germany here. Um, they both brought more offensive teams than expected, even though this like, this is kind of fat shit, but potentially... Yeah, Menzi, Menzi has more fat shit than PDC has <laughs> offense, which is so surprising. Yeah, that's strange. This is either like an <laughs> eject button or shut shell packs, I would assume. Yeah, I guess it's a jack button. It could be life orb torn. I'm not sure if it's AV. I think life orb. Yeah. Because he has already ferrous on it, the packs, which is like fat. But it can potentially get flinched down with Guninja to like. To like, so Ashkin could get off its the form. Um, yeah, so, so if Menti wins Germany, it's true. Oh, yeah, so it's, it's like a must win yeah. for PDC. Uh, I guess the remaining games are a must win for. Oh. East, if they yeah. want to do, if they want to have a tiebreaker. So yeah, yeah, if PC wins, it comes down to the um, East. Also has to win the ADV game, but yeah, it's gonna be Mega Hero Cross. Either I think Z move Tapu Koko or Z move Mijana. Kind of thinking Z move Tapu Koko, Scarf Kelio. I'm not sure about the Muse set. Oh, he could also be Z move Lander as well. I'm not sure. This is like some options here. But yeah, the first the thing that I would stay like I would say is fine. This is Scarf Keldio. I think that's still like I would say that's what he is. <laughs> Why can I not talk? Um, goes into a Unicus, predicting a Wisp, doubles that into a Unicle, uh, into okay. a Kapu Koko. It's actually Shed Shell um, Toxapex. Yeah, that's I was thinking either Shed Shell and or a, a Life Orb, a Life Orb, oh, Taunty, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking because just like these two fat mods, so the the taunty is probably not going to be AV. Yeah. Yeah, is the Lari like Z move? Oh no, Lari is scarf. Oh, is it Z move unique? Z -move Dagi is obviously. Mm. Yeah. My brain was not working there for a second. That's pretty obvious. But yeah, this could be like Z wild charge or Z thun Z thunder or some wild shit. I don't know. That has a good chunk. Is that banded or is that max attack at least? If it's not banded. Because if it's max defense oh. unit list, that really did a good chunk. Yeah, I'm surprised Mincy stayed in, to be honest. Uh, but I guess it, I guess it's fine because Pharaoh was pretty obvious. So, so in the uh, Pearl vs. Gondor game, he dropped the drag with turn 1. The Rotom has the Aya Papa Berry to get the health back and shows the T-Wave and misses turn 1, which sucks. Because yeah, Gondor has to win this for his team or they are out, I'm pretty sure. Doubles into Clef. I don't know if he predicted the jump, but a nice play. He's probably going to get up the rocks. No, he did not get up the rocks. He doubled up into... Rodan Wash predicting what? Predicting who the versus who is this game? Yeah? Predicting the Celestia. Uh, Pearl versus Gondra. No, no, like a team. Oh, which team versus which Latin team? America versus Europe. And it's 5 0 for Europe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, fi Europe is uh, 5 0. Yeah, 5 0. And yeah, he predicted the Celestia went into Rodan, but it didn't work out at all. So PTC is still thinking what he should go into here. What, what did you think Menthi would go for? A Calm Mind or just attack? Recover, okay, yeah, playing it safe, it. scouting for Z move, I guess. Because he might have been able to live a Z move on like 10% and recover up would have been nice. Even though the Coco could also carry taunt. Um, recovering thrust is obviously fine. Oh. I'm thinking this could be a uh, Assault Vest with Jenna. Yeah. Maybe he just wants to Volt Switch. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, I don't think he would go hard into Dougie, but PDC might not want to vote switch fearing a potential eject button into Z move Dougie. So he might just double out into stuff like Landris or. I don't really know, maybe into Coco. So in this game, he switched yeah. out into Celestial on the Venus. Did he HP file each seed? He, ch he just slash bombed, okay. Playing it safe. Back in the camera up on the leech seed. The camera looks so small compared to Mega Venus, so before it camera up this Mega Evolve. If the Venus has Spadev, it can take this on. Uh, otherwise, he can switch into like the Latios once at least. And the Leech Seed support is nice, so it doesn't get worn on that, that 
doesn't get put down that low. And he also has the Caldeo to like kind of check this, but he stays in which makes me think that he's Spadef Borky Venus, so he gets the poison. Dude, come on. You get the T with dodge over, you know, gets the poison. I mean I think Gondra was like doing pretty well, he's like 3 0 in the first round thing. Oh, he was the Thunder. That's for Celesteela. And gets boosted up by opposing Electric Turn, but it obviously didn't work out in this case. Yeah, I, I thought he might go on the Lannis because it covers like. He didn't want to Volt Switch as, on his potential like, Jack Button picks. So, why do you think Paul Gold would happen? Just went for lead sheet, predicting a switch. Okay, that was a fire play, I guess. But a hex earlier sucked a lot, and he sludge bombed. He sludge bombed the Celestial, and he got another poison a lot. Yeah, this is looking, it's looking bad for Latin America. It's looking like Europe is gonna sweep through. Did Porsche play it? No, he didn't. But if Gondra loses this game, it's over anyway. Yeah, I guess Porsche would be a guaranteed win. So he threw up the rocks. They didn't do much at all, so this is defensive reuni. Last move's probably gonna be calm mind. And I guess um, PDC just U turns out now. Oh, is this just. Yeah, is this just defensive land though? You should be able to tell from the Psyshock damage. Oh, uh, wait. Psyshock uh, did like 29. Uh, I'm not sure what land risk it is. Yeah, if it's defensive, it does 21 to 25. So it's not max HP, it's like... Oh, he goes for Thunder, but he misses, so... Okay. It could have some sort of bulk, but it's definitely not the max HP. He goes defense. for Thunder on the measure now, and yeah, I see uh, he it. misses. Uh, that's that's kind of the terrain bad, is because... Up. They would have done like maybe 20, yeah, maybe and, 30 and he percent. doesn't get to figure out the set. Yeah, it's obviously I okay. like the way it has been played. But yeah, especially after he revealed the votes. But I was thinking it was AV anyway, from looking at his... Like, just from looking at his team. Because I needed like a good stuff, like a good check other than Kelly that can take on, op like he needs something that can take on opposing Majorna, he needs something that can check Greninja's. So that makes a lot of sense and it's a good pivot with Volt Switch to bring in Mega Heracross, he has like the Volt turn going on. Or like the Volt Volt action if the lander doesn't have U-turn. I don't think the lander's went for U-turn so maybe it's like, still not sure what which one is the Z move user, I'm thinking it could be the lander's. Like at first I thought it was the Coco. Not sure anymore. By the end of the pole game, he just went to Mew. Did he trick and cripple it? He just went for Psyshock. So he's just gonna get off the defog here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this is looking really bad. He just gets a free defog. Quote unquote free, I guess. Gondra um, is calm mining on the Mega Venusaur. Oh, it's calm mined. Mm, okay. Mm, yeah, I guess Pearl has enough checks for that. Yeah, he has the um, Celestia. Venus Steel Core. I mean, Venusaur loses to it one on one, kinda. But since it is like really annoying. And he also st stalled out the softballs, eventually ending fish for crits. Okay. So he might go for taunts here, uh, or Mancy, he commented. Uh, uh, Mancy, Mancy should uh, probably switch out into the Ferrothon this time around because if PDC has a Z move, he's gonna re reveal it now. Oh, I was thinking he might go for taunts. But the theme of Humux also sense, yeah, you're right. Taunt is just if he breaks the recover. <sighs> Man, Padlo would uh, could be playing. He's um, yeah, I'm not gonna talk about it yet. But yeah, Padlo might have played this week if he wasn't busy. Let's put it that way. I did this money. Said I didn't even notice they started. Hard Coco. Oh my lordy, he just lost all his momentum. The comment boost is gone. The momentum is gone. Like, oh. this is this is just why moves yeah. like U turn and Volt Switch are super good. Yeah, PDC. That was a oh, that was a good read by PDC, I guess. Oh, I said Volt Volt <laughs> earlier, but I obviously meant Volt turn because like when I look at because hmm? yeah. Yeah, I think I, was, I think it was probably a 50 50. You think because, he's Scarf uh, Dougie? No, he mm, should be Z. No, he's not Scarf, he's Z Dougie. Yeah, but then it doesn't even do anything if he goes Dougie on the electric move because he can just U turn out after. 
what if this is Z fly? No, oh, he just talks to toxic. Like yeah. earlier, I was saying vault, <laughs> vault action, but I was just thinking about vault switch when I saw Tapu Goku. It obviously showed U turn. I don't think it's gonna be packing vault switch at all. Um, you might go for a knockoff here, expecting some sort of switch into like the Majuna to get rid of the yeah. AV. As in this game, it does 50 to the plus one clef, he just goes for softball to scout the damage. Goes into Subtle Steeler, he's probably gonna start heavy slamming as going for switches out and Rotom on the heavy slam. I mean, he might be pain split on this Rotom. Oh, he goes for the heat oh, rate, that does he's double status. Double status Rotom. Oh, his life up, I forgot about that. I was thinking, oh. yeah, that does a lot. Yeah, Coco doesn't have the best speed. You might not want to U-turn because the, of the iron bobs on the Pharaoh. But in this game he burned the uh, guard jump that gets up the rocks and misses the hydro pump. Good god. Some hacks, this sucks. Goes for Z move, but he's burned, so it's not gonna do anything. I mean it's immune to it because it's a drag move on the cleft. But it wouldn't have done anything even if it was like a ground C. Goes back so Z. What is he gonna do? Heavy slam breaking in the Venusaur, Leech Seed breaking this to stay in. Yeah, they just exchange Leech Seed, so this doesn't really do anything. It's just Cell Stealer or Cell Stealer. I'm staring, oh, staring um, at each other. Come back to the... Come back to the Germany versus East game. Yeah, okay. So you switch out uh, the Ferrothorn. Coco so U-turns in the Ferrothorn and... Mm, okay. uh, P PDC goes, uh, goes around in the Heracross and he SDs on the Ferrothorn switching to Toxapix, which is huge. Oh, because wow. I guess he claims one. Yeah, as long as he doesn't miss his rock blast. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking kind of over. I think PDC wins this. Oh, uh, PDC definitely has a good shot at winning this. So like, <sighs> if PDC wins, it comes down to this ADV game. Yeah. Well, I assume and it's the and Blunder had a bet that um, Blunder bet that PDC would win and NJNP was like uh, okay. NC would win. I'm pretty sure this Toxabex is heavily spitef to check stuff like Ash and to like not let it get the form off. Like especially if oh, you're black goes, sludge, he goes hard yeah, fail. he's just toxic stalling. Especially if you're black yeah. sludge and it talks about, like if you're lacking black sludge, you're gonna be wanna you're gonna wanna have that spit dev to check Ashgun better. If you're lacking that passive recovery, you want as much spit dev as possible. I'm thinking he's like really calm, like with like almost max spit dev on packs. So he's trying to go pivot back, I guess maybe on the CC in the packs. He not sure. I mean, I'll just stay in and say I don't care. So in this game he stayed in to protect, which didn't really make much sense because he was still leech seated. And this shows the HP fire leech seed set, so it's probably um since this isn't the last slot, so it's non grass step Venusaur, which like I've seen this set a lot lately. Keep staying and fishing for a burn, Gondor's just trying to do something, it's a crit but no burn. Switches out finally yeah. in the Rotom. On a sludge bomb as Pearl just kept spamming sludge bomb, got the poison and wrote a rotom dies. Yeah, this is this is just tough for for that in America. They got like some annoying hacks. As he just defogs as the guard jump comes in. Guard jump, does he go for rocks again? He does go for rocks again. And we're gonna go back to the other game. As he went into Larios, this is just a sack, I assume. Yeah, that he just dropped. Clean knocked out by three rock blasts. So Tornadus is gonna go for a heat wave. As I could see the. I yeah, Men Menzi's. Menzi's. Oh. Reuniclus is a huge threat to. Oh. PDC? Yeah, if, if Heracross goes down, yeah. But he still probably has taunt on Coco to check it. And potentially Z move on uh, Lando or Coco. And what else am I trying to say? Do you think PDC will go out into Mew here? I don't think he will risk his Calio. Oh. Yeah, PDC can go out in the Mew here. I guess Menzi's play is to click Heatwave because 
He could PDC could also just sack the nigga yeah, Heracross. Really so I don't think. Uh, what does he go for? Oh my lord! Oh, aggressive, he goes for the U-turn. aggressive okay. U-turn. We see it's Helmet Land. Yeah. So maybe okay. it was defensive land and just miscalled <laughs> earlier. Maybe I called offensive for Uniclus earlier and instead of defensive, that's why the cult was off. Okay, so he gets really off sure, rocks. I'm not really sure about that cult that I ran earlier with Uni. Might have been a mistake. And, the cult. and what does he go for? What does he go for? Like, do you think this had HPIs? <laughs> no, he doesn't have HPIs. Okay, it's he, knockoff, U turn, turn okay. uh, Hurricane, and Heat Wave. Oh, yeah, it's U turn. Usually, I don't see, I see like taunt usually over U turn. But yeah, in this game he just went hard Venusaur, which is like one of the best checks to Tapu Bulu as long as they don't have Z's and headbutt. But yeah, Gondra already said GG, sorry team, he couldn't win this. He just had to SD bank on some choke, he didn't have anything to touch this. And he just yeah, forfeited, uh, PDC, he couldn't win. PDC loses the um, Landris to the Hurricane. Oh wow. He actually hits the Hurricane, which like that's like not that easy, not everyone can hit a Hurricane. Sidney Juna is gonna go for Volt Switch here. Mm, yeah, he doesn't lose anything by Volt Switching, so I would assume he would go for the Volt Switch here. Uh, or if he has a HP Fire, he would probably go for it. What does he go for? Yeah, he goes for the Volt Switch, yeah. So he's gonna go Coco or maybe Mew? Hmm, yeah. I think PDC, PDC would, have been, would have been in a better position if he didn't risk the Landris. But yeah, congratulations to Team Europe. By the way, they made uh, semi-finals 6 and 0 oh, is the score at the moment. So like, there's no way that uh, Latin America can bring it back. But yeah, this is in range to die from rocks after. Maybe he has Roost, but I'm not sure. I doubt it has Roost. U-turn? Taunt, electric move? HP Ice or Roost? Not sure. Um, I don't. Th it could also be Nature's Madness, but yeah, he has Ruth. So yeah, it is Ruth. Really nice oh, play. Sh That's a bit amazing. Okay, okay. So now this game is in a high high favor of PDC. Mm, if he has taunt on top of that, yeah, to let another the really nice setup. Um. Oh uh, no, I don't think this is taunt. Okay, but you think it's like Z Vol Charge yeah. with Brave Bird? Yeah. Yeah. I think he just U turns out again. You might not want to U turn to take the barbs, but I think it's fine because he's like somewhat healthy now. Um, but the barbs and the rocks is gonna be like forty something. If if PDC has no move to like uh, knock the Ferrothron out from this range, then something gets lead seated and the Ferro gets more healthier. So mm, yeah. Oh, pray. Z move obviously would kill, but he might want to save that for the Reunion close. Yeah. Not sure if Brave Bird would kill. Once once Pharaoh goes down, uh, this Coco is a huge threat. Yeah, we basically thought that the Coco was somewhat dead, but he pulled out the roost. I mean, it was somewhat expecting it, but I wasn't sure. But it makes sense again, like you said earlier, was in the Flame Victini game. He might have potentially expected some stall because he has like Roost on Coco for longevity. He has like Heracross, which is like decent versus fat shit. And why did I say that word? Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't have said fat shit. That sounds so weird to some people, probably. Mm -hmm. He's a see what turns, yeah. And he goes for the. Uh, he's 100% clicking the lead seed here. I don't think he, he would click Barbip. Where's he gonna Barbip. go? Mew or. Kelly is a bit risky here. If he has HP fire in the Majorna, I'm thinking I think it's either the Mew or the Majorna, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I didn't mention the Majorna, but I was thinking that, but I wouldn't want to interrupt. Um. If he has HP fire, he definitely clicks it, clicks it li like right now. He might just vault expecting the packs. And then Coco comes in again, or um, you can come in if it has Psychic. Like 11 in the evening, and for BTB it's even later. I think it's like 2:30 for him. Uh, yeah, 2:30 a.m. Okay. 
<laughs> it says protect. I don't think it has protect, but it, yeah, I'm pretty sure the last move is gonna be like attacking moves. He just volts, which did he double leech? That would be a fire play. Yeah, I I think he double leech leech seeded, or I don't think he would have stayed in. Uh, what is he going to do? He goes into the Keldeo yeah, on the. Yeah. So the pack is really obvious here. So the question is, will he triple leech seed? <laughs> PTC might just play it safe, but expecting a potential stay in from the Feral Thorn. Because, like, Pex it just sits there, it's not like it is it that big of a deal to PC. I mean, it's obviously a bit, it's, it's definitely annoying. I mean, uh, if it gets up T spikes, then that's huge. Yeah. You can devog them, but it will be poisoned before it can. Like if the T specs go up before the Mew comes in. Yeah, and I think he would like to keep uh, rocks up for the th torn tornadoes. Yeah. Oh, that's the gyro ball expecting gyro a potential ball. double. Yeah. Or maybe maybe expecting like a scald turn. Like maybe PC wanted to fish for a burn. Maybe he was predicting that. Like if mm -hmm. PDC wanted to fish for a bunny, obviously didn't. Mm. Yeah. So the Muse I, threatening I, this Feral with the Will O Wisp, but there's a Runic yeah. in the back, so it's kind of weird. A uh, tough spot. We might double into Heracross expecting a Runic class, but just go for Wisp. That was a nice turn for Mency. Mm. Do you think he will just Calm Mine or? There's not really a point in Calm Mining as long as the Hera is around. Yeah. So I guess he might just go into much softball or go into Majuna here. Yeah. But it is really this can become a really big problem in the late game, depending on some of in if the Coco has okay, taunt or if the Coco still has its Z move left. Depending on that, the beginning might be really annoying. Like we don't know it's the theme of Coco, but I'm thinking it is because I think the line was with helmet, right? So that is definitely not the theme of user. Yeah. Hard into Hera cross bleed in the comment. See, that's okay. what I'm saying. There was not really a point in calm mining as long as the Hera cross is alive. I know that, that's fine because I mean, he can just go out into the he can just go out into the pecs, pecs here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still fine, but I, like I just don't get the point of calm mining as long as the Hera is alive. But I, I, I kind of I kind of understand the play I guess because it forces it threatens the hero I guess. But even if he didn't come on, I mean the hero would die to Sashuk anyway at that range with that. So I think PDC SDs here on the Toxic switch and probably then yeah, Menzi sacks. Yeah, then Menzi can the... sack the Pharaoh Thorn. Yeah, no, I think Menzi should sack the. Oh, the Thorn. This is looking close. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. interesting. Uh, I think Menzi see uh, here. I think Menzi should sack the Tornadus. He goes in the Tornadus and the CC he might live and look like a god. But the Torn is not that healthy, never mind. It's at. It gets 33, so it's at. And it loses 25, so it's at um, 55%, I think. <sighs> yeah, this is looking. This is. So looking very it might close. be minus defense nature. I'm not. I don't remember if Life Up Torn runs minus defense or minus death nature. But I might just drop to a CC. Like. It's kind of obvious that the Pex is not staying in because he needs it for the Keldeo, right? Oh my god, why did he risk his reunion? Yeah, I, I would have not risked my reunion because, because that's the win con there. Ugh. So now he might be in range from Hydro from Keld. I'm not sure, he might also not be in range because like Scarf Keld is not that strong. Uh, but I think he's gonna go Coco and potentially pull out the Z-move or the to um, or just yeah I think the potential Z-move I'll just at least threaten him with that so he might switch out fearing that into like uh, either attacking the Torn or into the Pharaoh Pharaoh might get to it KO from like uh, electric Z into the regular Z from Coco mm, yeah
<laughs> why is element why is Mazar saying this in the chat? <laughs> Blanda talking a lot of shit today is what you say. Yeah, if he's like gonna go for Taunt or his um like if he's he's gonna calc and if uh, his regular Z move can if his regular like move he might go for that if that can kill. The non Z but the if, if if this is like a Z fly. But Z you mean uh, Z for Brave Bird? But if it's yeah. if it's wild charge, I think he has to go for the Z move because he doesn't want to take the recoil. Flex God. But yeah, he goes for the roost. Flex God. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. And he goes under the ferret on on the wild charge, and uh, it doesn't look like a two-hit kill. Yeah. So I think he has to go for the. I don't know if brave, brave bird, bird would kill. Mm. Might yeah probably does because wild charge was resisted, but it was, it was also electric turn boosted and step. So maybe brave bird doesn't even kill. Like I could see definitely brave bird being like a roll or something or not killing. Yeah, th th I think this is the best I've seen PDC play since a very long time. Like, I know PDC is really good, but he's not been playing that well. But this game he's been playing. Fantastic. Yeah, this is definitely not the style that I would expect from him. I would definitely. I mean, he has some bulky mons, like two bulky mons, three bulky mons, but usually I would expect yeah, some but... more the Venus Stealer from him or something like that. <laughs> Let's call him Path of 2.0. Or like some semi stall type of thing. Oh my god, he almost timed out. <laughs> he got a crit and U turn still didn't kill, so he probably just went for Leech Seeder. Yeah, I think lead seed. Yeah. So if this misses, I'm going to be pissed. And he on the lead seed, I guess. Oh my god, I just oh, said if this misses, I'm going to be pissed. No. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So okay, this okay, is okay, like okay. almost dead to rocks, now the Pharaoh might live barely. He goesn't have Toxipex on this card. Oh, in the I'm hydro pump, okay. You think he's gonna yeah. double into like. He doesn't really have like, a double in that precious anything, so he's just gonna recover, I think. Oh, T Spur. Okay, that's. Yeah, the that's terrain ends, so he might, he's probably easily able to lift Volt Switch. And he's gonna recover yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. The Heracross being dead it was like the main wall breaker, that's definitely huge. Uh, Coco's like what keeps PDC in this game. <sighs> yeah, if Coco goes down, it should be over. He goes in the mule, yeah, he, he goes into poison. the mule. He does not get badly poisoned, he only gets poisoned by one layer, but it's still definitely annoying yeah. for PC. It's like poison does yeah. a bit more than leftover seals. Yeah, PDC is going for the defog here because he knows how important Coco is to win. I think Poncho's game started, it's definitely World Cup, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, he goes under the region of Clis, I don't yeah. think I'm gonna be recording Poncho's game if it's for World Cup, even because the series is over and I don't know the much about black and white. Yeah, it seems to be World Cup. That doesn't matter oh. anymore. Okay, this is so. This game is so. He's gonna recover. Yeah. Um, maybe sack the feral thorn or go for side shucky. This is odd. Like you don't want to stay. I think. Uh, get blown away I, I by think. Zeke move. I think side shock is the play. Ooh, that works out fine. If yeah. Side shock, but he didn't. Uh. Oh, he went to the recover. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Oh, okay, side shock was the play. No, I think side shock was the play. Because um, he wouldn't be Zemo, he wouldn't Zemo there because uh, he was the too Ferrota healthy. Was, oh, yeah. Yeah. I think That's he's kind gonna of boost the uh, recover again. I mean, <sighs> I'm just gonna check something real quick. Oh yeah, I just never mind. I thought I uploaded a video with that wrong title, but I didn't view. So I guess this is a free wild charge now. Yeah, this is a free yeah, wild charge bar. Yeah, since he boosted up, he has like a lot of PP, so the recoil doesn't matter that much to him. So you either spam recover here or you go sack the feral. I think you U turn if you're PDC, probably. Into, uh, what, into because what? If, he... if this comments uh, up, you're... this is bad. You go to Magina Voltage again or what? Is the Magina slow, oh. by the way? I don't think it is. I don't think Menzi would ever risk calm mining up because 
Also, I think yeah, he's probably gonna recover work. or um, Sai so Shock, not sure. If he, if he yeah. stays in so, there, is. So I think uh, Wild Charge, Wild Charge, and U Turn is a series of plays which I'm thinking. Uh, I think uh, he needs to stall out the recover PP or something along those lines. <sighs> Man, this time is going not super low, but like somewhat. I'm hungry as fuck. They're taking their time. I mean, I get it. It's obviously an important game and stuff. Hard oh, and he sucks the tornadoes. Okay. Oh, I said Coco. I meant tornadoes. Yeah. And he goes in the background with the reading of the quest. Uh, what was he predicting there? Utah? Yeah, or he was probably just sacking it. Yeah, but it's still the same scenario. He's still trying to waste the Z move, and it doesn't work okay. out. But he's just flexing on him. Holy shit! <sighs> yeah, and a wild charge is his play now, and I oh, think Roses was Mons' oh. World Cup, by the way, and this game still matters. Between oh, Ro Rose okay, okay, okay. Rose okay, this, this game, game is. There's the Venus Stealer, this is what I was expecting from PDC, but instead Mounts brought it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is, I think this game is going to be really interesting. Might be uh, like a Scarf Lottie. Because Mounts is a very aggressive player and I like watching Mounts. Specs Gengar or Z-Move Gengar, Bandit Zygarde, like one of these. But I guess we'll, I guess we'll just focus on, on this game yeah, obviously, a bit more because obviously. Uh, this game is this huge. Game. Because it can might decide this, but I think PDC has it. Uh, so it's <sighs> not over for Team Germany. You still have to play one more. Uh, Femin was Ben Manifi also started. Ben Manifi got subbed in for Team Europe, I think. So I'm not gonna record that because the game doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna record yeah. that then. Oh, I think he got subbed in oh, for what? Ricardo. Ricardo doesn't even get to play. He's probably just like nice. Can chill. <laughs> I didn't yeah. say that. <laughs> okay. Oh. I mean, I want to watch the other games, but this game is so oh, interesting. It's just gonna vault again, obviously, in the Coco. Oh, I think I think PDC has this. Hmm. Speaking bluntly, he's just keeping the Z move for the like correct turn. Yeah. PDC has played this fantastic. Like every single turn he has played really well. And I think Mency has played well as well. But yeah. you're looking at this team, yeah. Roses, Woods, Mounts, oh. this is just both have some fat balance. Um, Mega Pinsip plus Default Mew. Either Rocks Jump or I think Ferrum. Roses Roses has a Roses has a very bulky team and oh. yeah. Mounts has like a few bulky ones with few offenses. Could be Zemov Zapdos or you might just not I have I guess other balance. I might not have a Zemov user or I might be Zemov Zapdos. Uh, I mean Zemov Garchomp is an option but it should be Scarf looking at his team. Um, and you've also just out I think in the Coco to get the terrain back up. Yeah that's like one of the main reasons why he switches out the Coco just to get terrain back. I think he would just think he would just spam Psyshock here. Yeah, Psyshock is doing 55. That's Predicting the Roost. But if yeah. he goes hard for Zemu, that might be bad. I'm not sure how much they would do hard Zemu, like 80? Mm, so they're saying Batman if he's the king. I kind of have to click on the game now. What happened in that game? So this is on the off quick, you probably just you turn on the jumper. Oh okay, the Zemo was revealed. Okay. And Okay, I'm oh, and that kills the Coco! That kills the Coco, the holy shit. Mm -hmm. Give Blunder his five and JNP. <laughs> yeah, the bet uh, which Yeah, and the Pex obviously wasn't living yeah. that. Yeah, I He's think I think PDVC was so fucking motivated to win this, he played this. Brilliant. Yeah, the score is 5 and 4 for Germany, and Badass is like, going to play for ADV. But PDC had to play brilliant to win this matchup, and he 
fucking played so brilliant. This is I one of the know. best. Like I don't think I'm gonna Show record the ADV game because I just have no idea about what's going on and I'm tired uh, as fuck. Like, yeah, if, just, if it comes down to it, I guess if it's like five five, I guess you. Go. I mean, it comes down to it. It's oh. five four now. I just leave the yeah. replay for that game in the description or something. I guess Fix is the one playing for Germany, so Germany has an upper hand, it seems. Yeah, yeah, Fix has to win basically. Because, yeah, because everyone says Fix is very good. Sure. So the discharge yeah. turn the zap this in the roses was Mount's game. I don't remember oh, the score, yeah, I think it was four two versus four two for US West, which is Rose's team. He gets the power on the command cliff. So we see people bring command cliff like for the third time I think in World Cup now. I think it won for Bro Kappa was Axel. Uh, it did nothing for Gondra was Pearl and now we will see it got paralyzed early on so it might not be winning for Mount. So this might just be Lee Seed Venus again with non grass step with HP fire and slash bomb synthesis. Yeah, he still got the leeches on the toxic packs. There's a skull trying to get the burn. Get the burn first try. Good god, Rose is heavily fishing with his mons. Like he got a discharge pair on the cliff, he got a skull burn on the Gengar. And yeah, Mounds is Mounds is French and Rose is uh, which country? US West. US West and the score is four two for West if I'm not mistaken. I recheck real yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, four and two. Yeah, I'll go just over the game that doesn't really matter. I'll look over that when this game is over. Yeah, just that, at that, the that game seems hype. Oh, the Mounds game. It just seems like uh, Rose is in a good position already. No, no. Um, they're the really bad going. Game. They're going. They're Everyone's going. Like yeah, they're going off about that Manifi game. I have to rewatch it. <laughs> so basically, what happened? He went for sub with his Kyurem. I'm wondering if he's like sub Z move. Yeah. He went hard it, for it, Z move. It, it, it just, it just basically one side demolished him from. Garchomp got Manifi bobbed game. as Alakazam Megas on the Mew. So wow, is Europe actually seven and zero? He wins this. Well, they always said GG. Well, let me just skip through this. So, Gathering was the exam, it seems. Because for Earthquake, doesn't affect Mantine. Back into. Uh, oh my god, Sludge Bomb in the Heligo over Sludge Rift. This boy's fishing, trying to fish for poisons. Just kills the. Probably the Scarf Lily, because he had a Mantine. So, it's like obviously Scarf Lily on the team. Back into Mega Zam. Doesn't really matter, gets walled by. I mean, Secretary will do a good chunk. But, so it gets checked. Where's the Mew? Shadow Ball doesn't even kill. We went for Ice Beam to get some chip off. And Psychic Tyrion was gone, so the Gastron was able to eat up the Psychics, recover off. That was finally this with Death Draw. So I just went for Earthquake to get damage on this. Here goes Scizor. Oh, he sacked off his Mew, okay. So there's no, that's the dream, the six of is gone. There's the Heligo, and Scarf and Heligo might just sweep through with Beast Boosting. Oh, we went for rocks. Is he Scarf Ross? I've used that set. Instead of, I don't like it because of Dark Trio, but otherwise it's pretty cool. Like rocks and heal, we go. Freeze Shock on the knockoff. Something's getting tossed, but it's Freeze Shock. Tangles just drops. Goes on the Stealer. Hard uh, Zap does. Like this game is already over in Manaphy's favor. T oh, oh, everything. Okay, 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 T okay. everything. Uh, dog, I guess I, I guess you could record the ADV game because it's crucial. And this is. Yeah, I'll just I'm just focusing focusing on the rose was month real quick. Just really quick so I catch up to the new turns and then I'll click on the ADV game. Push station shadow ball critical hit. This game is hexy. Critical hits but death drop. This is life of Gengar. And Wait, Gengar used pain split? Oh Did my I just lord, it's a set now. It's really nice to like be annoying with fatter teams because you don't. If you get worn down, like Pinsley has a lot of PP and you can like yeah, yeah, that's fire. steal some health. Okay, let's click on the Faculty Battles game, however they call it. I didn't even know that this this guy is German. So yeah, leads off with Tita. Snorlax fringe yeah, is turn one. one. Classic. I mean, some team got hexed early, we can't really say anything. Oh. Just missed the next one or something. 
Oh, oh my, my god, he crit the next god, one. God, I don't want to watch this. Does he have a W or something like that? Okay, he's a perch. Is it just rocks? Rocks is available in Gen 3, right? It should be. Like, I don't know shit about it, but that rocks should be a thing. So in this game, you're gonna do a scarf jump, I assume. Scatter the Gengar. I saw this thing that probably went for a uh, leech sheet or flamethrower. Yeah, okay, just leech sheet up. Back in the Gengar. Just spamming a uh, shadow. It is really interesting because life up brings you down low and then you can paint split up your health. You might go in a feral zone, not going into just like crit high roll. Like, not crit, but like a high roll, like some hex, hex, but death drop. I really, I really want to watch the Roses vs. Mons game, but somehow the Fakes vs. Badass game is still keeping me on its side. <laughs> oh, the Toxapex lives on one. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I didn't think he would stay in because, like, that was, like, risky. But he does get rid of the Gengar. And it does not die to Lichy because Gengar went down. Pex is really one that never dies. Oh, I don't think he had Black Sludge, right? Is he, like, Shadow Shell Pex? Everyone is using that because of Dagi. Like shit shells with death. I mean if badass wins this we get a tiebreak I guess. Oh my lord. I knew this shit would happen man. Germany was in a good position and just got bobbed around. Oh well, 8 and 0 for Europe at the moment is wild. Oh, what happened to Porsche? Wait, how are they? Did Porsche lose this how game? How are they? You know, did Porsche lose? Yeah, probably Porsche lost. The game is over. I didn't see it. Oh, the thousand arrows did forty-seven to the Mew, so it's a roll. Okay, never mind. It's yeah, fast. it's probably like fast Mew. It's yeah. that's why it takes that much. So it's obviously, um, wow, it's common rocks cleft, it's wild. The last move's gonna be Moonblast, obviously. Oh, it's C9 versus Celsius started. Um, I think this is also Europe versus Latin America and doesn't matter, which is why they subbed in this guy. I think this is just an RMT from, like, McMagan or someone. Like, this team is well known. This is something easy would use, Volturn into Nido King. Like literally four sweet U turn Pokemon, one Volt Switch Pokemon. Yeah, I'm not gonna record this, I guess. So, like, I don't know anything about the ADV. Oh my goodness. So, the Tyranitar should have died ty turn one to a counter. Really? I can't win this now. So, that, that, that flinch was huge. Yeah, it's, it's looking pretty bad for Germany. It's gonna be like some tiebreaker shit. And he says he wants to sleep, I completely uh, feel him. Like, I'm, I was up to, like, I've, I've been up last night, I've been up this day, like, I'm dead as fuck. I would have been super nice if Germany could bring it through, but of course, man. I mean, they were. So what, is, so what happens in the tiebreaker? So is it like best of three people or what? Uh, I think it's like two, th two games for one tier and one game for another tier. So for like, um, by the way, um, Gypsy King is gonna be playing four AM my time, which is in five hours. I'm probably not gonna record that because I have to sleep. But yeah, it's gonna yeah, be. Yeah, I, I guess we both have to sleep. It's gonna be um, like three games. Like I know for the tiebreaker was it's like Asia versus. There's like Asia 1 versus Oceania. They played two Sun and Moon games. And yeah, one, one, I think, GSC game. Oh, so not GSC. I don't No, no, no. 80? Uh, I don't know. I think, sure. I think each, each, I think it might be that each team decides which thing they play. Yeah, um, yeah. Like one Sun and Moon is compulsory and each team decides what else they want. 
So if it comes down to this, uh, I guess one Sun and Moon and probably uh, East picks uh, Sun and Moon and um, maybe uh, Germany picks Auras. I don't know. Yeah, if it comes down to the tiebreaker, it'll be. The tiebreaker is not going to be played oh. today, obviously, I think. Like, tiebreaker, I, I'm pretty sure Brofist is going to play, and uh, FE or. Yeah, it's a toss up between FE and ABR, I guess. But Brofist is definitely playing in the tiebreaker, if there is one. He seems like he's been, like, uh, yeah, performing pretty well for them. Like, it doesn't seem like that, it's just the case. But it's like hard as fuck to narrate when you're super tired. I don't know anything about ADV, like, and it seems the fact is he can't win, and I don't really want to watch a game that he can't win. Yeah, Ojama seems pretty pissed, I guess. Mounts is really. Mounts is getting hacks pretty bad. Oh, wait. No, I think the Fable got, like, critted and paralyzed. Like, it got paralyzed twice in a row, yeah. That yeah. got paralyzed like three times in four or five. It got paralyzed like four or five times in like six turns or seven turns. Yeah, I, I like how nice Mounts is. Mm. There's there's another game that might be World Cup, but I'm not gonna click on it. It's a Gen Four. Yeah. Oh my God. So we know that Europe is the next round. If West wins this, they're gonna be up 5 2 in a really good position. Oh my um, God. Germany versus East will probably be tiebreaker, and the last series is Spain versus Italy, where I actually don't know the score at the moment. Tactical pivot from Ferrothon back in the packs on the HP fire. <laughs> did uh, Germany lose the game? I think they did. Oh, here's a doggy. He got it crit on the Jirachi too, I don't know if that mattered. <laughs> Maybe not. Mazari just said, where did we hack through all of our wins? I think uh, Germany hacks like, probably 2-3 to three games. I mean, yeah, but the... Um, <sighs> I don't know if that mattered, because... Yeah, I, I don't think Mazari's one, Mazari's didn't matter. I Mazari didn't the, matter, the and... The because uh, one, I, because he one, I'm not sure because there were like a lot of hurricane misses. I didn't yeah. see that game live. I saw the replay only. I'm not sure about the BKC game because I didn't watch it. I just know GTM one, and uh, yeah, and uh, I think the FE game was pretty uh, hacksy in favor of um, Germany. Did you see what he just said? This is not the first time I see blah 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 zero game for Team Germany. That's so fucking wild. Mans is going in in the chat. So this is a knockoff. He's just gonna go back to packs. He's just switching between fat shit. And yeah, you can just click skull, I guess. Try to burn something, you know? Oh, it's infestation, it's, it's the skull that talks about. Oh, never mind, it's not skull, it's a short skull. I was yeah, about to say. I, I guess. Yeah, so, I guess. Uh, fake said GG, so I guess it's over. What is this? There's like a dug in a Gengar and it's the same sprite. Yeah, you forfeited. 
Yeah, so it's 5-5, five, five, Germany to East. So you're gonna see a tri tiebreaker for sure. Yeah, holy shit, I had a tag. If I wasn't so tired, oh I would fall off my chair, I guess. Amazing. It's, it's really oh. annoying, man. Can you brief me up on what happened in the Roses versus Mounds game? Because I wasn't paying attention to no, that. No, no, I wasn't really paying attention because I'm like super tired. But he's just switching around <sighs> between his fat stuff and like was like kind of pee store and the Venusaur. Like Venusaur like yeah, kind of for HP fire yeah. when in the packs. And yeah, to be honest, I guess Roses wins this. I don't There's think not much Mounds can do. I don't think it's that important. Oh, okay. I don't think that's important that we like mention every single step. <laughs> Oh, that, that's the first earthquake I've seen. I mean, this is like gonna be PP stop between. Like, it literally is gonna be eventually gone. Is it earthquake Zygarde or what? Or what first earthquake? Oh my lord, it's earthquake Zygarde. Just for the damage over 1000 arrows. Doing a bit more to the Mew. That was probably even a low roll to 53. See, the next one does 59. Yeah. I mean, eventually he'll just go for Will O' Wisp with the Mew, so... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. if he missed that, uh, I guess Mons would have been in a decent position. Yeah. Probably. He's just gonna roost up. And Mons doesn't really have a win con. It's the Lottie at... Yeah, yeah, this is over. The Lottie is toxic, the Venusaur just gets walled out by Pex. Mew. And Celestina is. Who's man's? What are you doing? Celestina is like healthy, but Celestina is not gonna be winning when there's like Zapdos, Toxapex, stuff like that. Like, worst case, the Celestina can get PB stalled. Oh wait, West is 5-2 right now? Oh, they're 5-2 right now, so I probably missed another game. So if Roses wins oh, okay. this, um, West is uh, next yeah. round? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, so that's unfortunate for Team France, I guess. I'm just gonna check it real quick to be sure. Yeah, uh, so West makes it through, so that's easy Steam, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Use a, use a easy on smoke on the... Mounds for He's West, gonna go on a Feral Stone here, maybe. Or into Mew. Does not really matter. Um, yeah, the 2 and 5. Which game did I miss? Oh, that was a GSC game or something? I don't know which game I missed, but like, some game happened after that I didn't take into account. So, okay, so this is the deciding game. So, if this game is over, I think I can go to sleep because. No, I think we still have to yeah. wait what happens but between. Mounts has absolutely no way to win. We still have to wait what happens between Italy and Spain, right? There's Willow of Fire versus Malakis left. Oh, uh, in. And there's Tricking versus the Machine, whoever that is left in Italy versus Spain. Oh, what's the score of Italy versus Spain? I'm um, 2 and 4 for Spain. Okay. So, yeah, that's. So, yeah, for. So, who won in the Italy game? Um, Brokapa and who else? Oh, Brokapa won. Uh, Snow won for Italy. <laughs> Mounts is like a GG. I think I'm gonna quit for at least one day. Oh well. Yeah, th that's really sad. I mean, I would quit too if this was like the deciding game and there was like a bit hacks involved. And this game means that your team is out of World Cup, so that sucks. But congratulations to um, US West for making semifinals. And we're <laughs> and the exciting tiebreaker is tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know if it's tomorrow or next day. Oh yeah, yeah, right. But yeah, gonna end it here. I really oh can't my. concentrate anymore. I'm still gonna be up, potentially record some games from Italy versus Spain. Yeah. Like maybe the Auras game or the Sun and Moon game. Uh, let me see if there's any game going on live at the moment. Only a Gen 4 and a Gen 6 one. Let me just see which if the Dark, the Honor versus College game, what that is for. Oh, that, was, that one is for Italy versus Spain, the Honor versus College. But I don't know DPP, so I'm not gonna be covering that. And the Xenon vs. Salazi game is for um, probably Europe. Yeah, Europe is 8 0. Holy shit. Yeah, there's sub 
to be too big out and that's up so let's see guy and I think so these games don't matter thank you for watching really long one and why is easy playing battle factory this man is just chilling but yeah we guys can see he's been at least for two confirmed for Spain and yeah I really need a break uh, see you later <laughs> goodbye